Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, it's uh, getting very, very busy on the uh, MY22 uh, battery preconditioning front. Um, technically, Jeff, Jeff Blake, on, um, who has his own video channel, um, it's also on the EB6 owners on uh, Facebook, reports that the Canadian version has now been released. Um, the details for that it's Service Action 230018. Uh, and also numbered ELE 03202301. Um, I'll put that on the screen so you can see it. Basically, it's, it's out in Canada. Um, there's still no sign of it in the uh, USA yet, but it must surely be a matter of time. Um, in the UK, the dealers couldn't find it because they're looking for a recall on the um, on the service desk computers and because it's not a recall it obviously doesn't appear there they just put your registration details in and, and nothing appears so they think it doesn't exist so the way to get them to look it up is to get them to look on the master technicians system and put in EB6 battery conditioning update or put in the reference numbers from the uh, bulletin so whether it's the Canadian one or the UK one the UK one's bulletin number is KGE 22-17E131-CV and, and that updates the BMS from 5208 to 5408 and also there's a VCU update and both of these has to have to be done. Also the ones in my comments who still got the winter mode it definitely shows it has not worked so they have to go back and reapply it and roll back to previous version and do it slightly differently. John Godfrey on the Kia Owners Club .co UK, who I've mentioned previously um, he's got the update and has been trying it out and says here are a few things I have found which might be of use to some. The criteria for battery preheat is strictly not controllable you need to be within 30 minutes and 30 miles of the high power DC charger which must be set in the sat nav. You must have at least 20% state of charge to allow the power to be used to heat the battery. The system heats the battery up to 33 degrees but I think this stabilises about 30. It must be switched on obviously in the system. This uses between 2 and 4 kilowatts hours. The latter if it's freezing, the former was my experience at UK temperatures around 10 degrees. The range prediction drops as soon as it's running which for me was more obvious than the snowflake in the battery graphic. After the rapid charge I noticed an immediate increase in range. The system obviously thinks it's summer so I was showing increased predicted range which also showed an increased efficiency on the motorway journey home. I was showing 4 miles per kilowatt hour. I assumed this would fade as the battery naturally cooled but I didn't notice this in my 16 miles journey home. I think the key point here I think the key point here is that some if not most of the energy spent heating the battery you should get back assuming you are driving straight after the charge. Uh, it makes me want to battery, battery condition as part of heating the cabin from the home charger before I journey. I haven't worked out how, how much you retain versus how much is lost but roughly one mile per kilowatt hour that I would normally average three or four this time of year. Anyway, uh, thanks for John Godfrey for his help in uh, helping me uh, get the dealership to find it. His help was invaluable. And uh, as I say, don't take no for an answer from your dealer. If they can't find it, get them to look on the master technician system with the information I've just said. Um, others I've spoken to today have been trying to find it and have used what I've done and they've got them to book it in. So mine is now booked in by what John Copperie said and using the details from the bulletins. So this should work for everybody. So um, mine's booked in for next week. So good luck everybody in getting this and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.